In this video, I'm going to talk to you about a seated mobilizing and manipulation for the cervical spine. When a patient is supine, so they're going to be in this position, typically we'll use this metacarpophalangeal joint here. And we come onto the articular pillar, and then we normally replace them into a side bending towards and a rotation away to induce a coupled motion. And it's normally known as a type 1, so the side bending and rotation is to the opposite side because typically the cervical follows a type 2, which is a side bending and rotation to the same side. With a seated one, one way of doing that is to use like the middle phalanx, and instead of using the MCP joint, which you still can do seated if you want to, but for this demonstration I'm going to use my finger directly onto the level that you want to articulate. So you basically would side bend the patient down to the finger, let's say around the middle, C4, C5, palpate the articular pillar along here, with the finger, and you can almost use the finger as the lock and then a thrust technique with that. So let me show you on my friend Bal here. So find the spinous process. The first one you'll feel will be C2 and come down to three to four and come over. Use your finger onto the articular pillar, which is you have a transverse process will be here. Okay, so I'm gonna come onto the articular. And you might find it slightly easier when you slowly start to slacken to that area, you can feel the tissue just giving, so it allows you to come into that sort of area. So I'm trying to use my middle finger here, my middle phalanx, and then as I'm slowly side bend and I'm inducing a rotation away, there we go. Okay, so I'm inducing a rotation away. So I use my finger to come down, and then this technique, a technique in itself, this, if I'm just literally doing this, I'm doing this one, two, three, Four, that's more of a mobilizing technique. But if you wanted to cavit it, I'm not going to do a full cavitation because we've done a lot of videos so far today. So as we are side bending, I'm going to induce a rotation, take a small breath, and as he breathes out, feel the bind, okay, and then the thrust would be from there as a lock, this movement like this, okay. So I'm not going to do a full technique, so that was like a, like a pre-thrust but you can see the idea that you side bend towards, you rotate away, down to the middle phalanx. When you feel the lock, feel the rotation, go through a few mobilizing to see how it feels. And then if you're feeling confident and competent and you are qualified appropriately, then you can do the side bending technique. And then you can add in the rotation. Where's the bind? There she is, lock, lock, lock. And the thrust. Nice little click there. That was unintentional. All right, yeah. Okay, so, um. That was a, a demonstration on a seated cavitation for the cervical spine.